Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Maple Leaf, I think it's called this one. The career mode in Planet Coaster anyway is what we're doing. And uh, today I'm not sure we're going to get an animal down. Well, we'll uh, if we get time at the end we will, but to be honest with you, we need to take care of a few uh, housekeeping issues. So again, it's always the stuff that I forget. First of all, give, give us your money for the... Uh, for the alligator, please. Thank you. We need the dollar dollar. Uh, but also, you're not learning much about the alligator, are you, right now? You're uh, you're not knowing about what's going on. So this is something I always forget to do. Is put down some informational stands about the alligators. I'm going to put it right there where you're all looking. So, it, <laughs> so it's in your way. Um, we're going to have another one over here by the, uh, by the tortoise. Again, we try our best to keep things nice and detailed here. But for the most part, it's more about uh, completing the scenario, figuring out the... Um, do you know what? I'm not going to have a... I know I, know I should, but I'm not going to have a screen in this one. But I will have some speakers, uh, educational speakers. Here we go. So we're going to place one down, up on there like that. Uh, oh, didn't actually do it though, did it? There we go. Up on there like that. And we're going to say that that's going to be about the Indian peafowl. There we go. And we'll have another one of those over here, even though they, they're mostly hanging up at that top end for them to be honest so we'll put it down there anyway indian p files more speakers suitable and then here this one will set this to be uh sort of the crocodile and we'll put a speaker on the back of it as well double up that into the uh, education volume there and then here on this one we'll place down the elaborate giant tortoise and again you want to have a good listen about it. There we go. So we get that ed education rating up a little. It's pretty low right now, but that's okay. Thirst and hunger starting to become an issue. Um, I think what I want to do is a, just a tiny little building here um, to to kind of cover up the the uh, the habitat a little here. Really don't like uh, how it sits currently to have it just open there it seems a little off for me now the unfortunate thing is we don't have that many wall structures we can use I suppose it's that one that's not too bad okay so I'll do something like that uh, where's the doorway there we go so a door actually let's move that to there uh, and then get breeze block the station one we want. There we go, that one. There we go. Good, good, good. There. Okay, down to small. Oh, okay. Maybe not. We'll split it from the grid. Move it in that way. There we go. Put that way, that way. What's off sync there? Is it that one? There we go. Yeah, something like that, just to kind of give the uh, the impression that there's like a double gate, because I feel like there should be. There we go. We'll put a bit of a roof on that as well. Again, nothing crazy here. We're just kind of getting some stuff done. And I can't leave it like that. It's got to have a bit of detail on there. What have we got? Pillars. We've got some uh, beams here. Let's get some of those in. There we go. Something as simple as that. Oh, that's a bit rubbish. I'll tell you what, let's do it the other way. Because up and down always works. So if we do up and down... It'll work, yeah. Something as simple as a few beams in like that just breaks it all up a little, makes it look a little bit more interesting. And then what we can do is actually move that screen onto here, so it makes a bit more sense. And I've just realised we are probably, oops, going to need a keeper for this place. I might not have set one up last time. There we go, and we'll have one more on the bottom there, and then 
and I'll just have to wriggle that out. I don't think we'll be able to do the two meter one unless we can maybe take it in like that. There we go. And then have we got we haven't got a, like a thick pillar. Uh, uh, oh, oh, there we go. We've got the guests. We've got the guests wow. in for bronze. Looks like we already have a zoo, don't we? <laughs> that was fast. You're doing me proud, you know. I'll be honest. When I first pictured entrusting someone else to build a zoo, I always imagined it'd be my child doing it. I, I guess it wasn't to be, huh? Unless... I don't suppose you're open to being adopted, are you? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Now you've completed your first lot of jobs, or bronze objectives, as Nancy likes to say. You can, if you wish, move on to the next zoo. Obviously, I'd prefer that you stayed on here and took care of the rest of those objectives. But I can certainly understand the desire to keep moving onwards and upwards, just like an escalator. Or a, a downwards escalator, which is going the wrong way. <laughs> are, you done, are you done, Bernie? Right, I'll let, I'll let him chat then, because people like to hear him. Uh, there you go. We're off to somewhere else. Well, no, we won't. We'll, we'll hang around here. We'll, we'll try and get gold here, actually. So... We've got an invisible player visiting. Uh, we still don't have a security guard. Oh, vet reach is complete. Nice. What do we know? Uh, Aldabra tortoise. Nice. So get on the... No, no, no. Get on the... Ah. Get on the crocodile. Because we've got nothing for the crocodile yet. But now we should be able to... Put something down for the Aldabra tortoise. What was it? The dog ball. Huzzah. There you go. Oh, and a sprinkler. No, I'm pretty sure these chappies enjoy a sprinkler as well. Although I notice they very rarely go anywhere other than just here. Lots of little ones running around. Are they are they grown up yet? As soon as they're growing up, you're out of here. You know that, don't you? Look at them all. The baby's eating. Yum, 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 yum. They are cute. <laughs> uh, okay, so alligators. I don't... I, the, the sprinkler might work for you. Let's have a look. Um, not a crocodile, sorry. I keep calling you alligators. Yeah, sprinkler. There we go. So we're going to put one of them down. And it's something, all right? I know it's not much, but it just brings that enrichment up a little. Just makes them a little happier. And then hopefully we'll get something else and it brings this up. Uh, this fence. Um, what to do, what to do. I'm going to edit the barrier. I'm going to pause the game because, you know, you don't want to... We're going to do that, and then we'll null fence it. Oops. We'll null fence it to here. Uh, there. Oh, no, we can't null fence it to there, can we? Yeah, we need to null fence it to that one, then. Um, there we go. And then you just a uh, random bit now. It needs to go. Yeah, because you, you have to stay like that because of the, because of the door. Okay, now, he, what did we do heat one? A few people mentioned about the heat. I can't actually remember what we did. We didn't actually place any down. So a few people said, oh, why don't you just like hide him in the floor? I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to do, to be honest, because um, I don't like looking at him, but they kind of need to be here. So I'm going to hide him in the floor and just hope that does what it needs to do. We should make him a little bit more comfy when it snows, and we'll just kind of, you know, deal with it. It's a gameplay thing this time round. I don't mind. Uh, right, we could do with some stores, I think. Uh, let's have a look. Guest facilities. Um, a zoo shell. Let's just use that for now, because it's fine. It does what it needs to do. So we'll have that there as uh, food and drink. Now, an info one would be nice. Oh, we've got a toilet. I don't know whether we need a large one. I think a small one will be fine. That we can probably work off here. I saw that fence try and get there before, but it doesn't want to sit. Okay, we'll do that. There we go. So you've got a restroom there when you want it, and then here we actually have to put some stores into it, okay? So facilities, uh, chief beef to start off with, get yourselves a burger and uh, a drink of some sort. Gulpy soda it is. Ugh. Gulpy soda. There we go. 
So, off the back of that, we're going to need some stuff to go around. So, some bins. Plate suit bin. Place a few of these around. In there, please, so you're not littering before you come out. I'm also going to try and place one up here, but the terrain is not flat. So, we might struggle. Uh, we'll have one over this way. Okay. Right, I kind of noticed a lot of you aren't putting... Oh, you're all over there. It's okay. I was going to say, make sure you be putting money in, please. Come on. Need your dollar dollar. Um, Indian P5 is about to have offspring again. My God, they're popping them out. Now, have any of these grown up yet? One thing I haven't seen is I haven't seen them do the the tail feather. I mean, that's a, that's a girl. Oh, that was the other thing somebody mentioned. You can change the zoo opening times so that it doesn't go dark. So let's change the zoo to be open... Five till five, and hopefully that will make the make the light stay. Now the guests have gone down now. Look, but they for a moment they went up. So bronze is done. So seven habitat species and four exhibit species. So we need to find somewhere that's a bit flatter that we can maybe build a, like a bit of a reptile house. I'm thinking here we could get a bit of a reptile house going. Let's have a look what's available for exhibits. We've got uh, the, whatever that hell thing is, centipede. Yeah, so there's loads of stuff here to do a decent, um, to do a decent exhibit. It's it's going to be expensive, but I think we're bringing in money. So I think that's probably what we're going to do this episode. So I'm going to press pause. I'm going to clear all that out and rejig it over here. There we go. And then we've got a nice bit of space here to build. Um, a little uh, sort of terrarium slash insect house. So we need four. So I'm going to go one, and we'll have a gap, and we'll have a gap that way, and we'll have a gap there. Okay, so first of all, let's get rid of all that path, because we don't need your help, thank you. We'll do the paths ourselves. Um, okay, so now I, d I had really had trouble doing these in the... Um, really had trouble with the paths here in the beta so it looks like we're having similar problems again so let's get rid of all these paths right let's put all these together no put all these together now I've just realized we can't I was gonna say I'll just quickly edit the terrain but we can't do that so this building might have to become slightly raised I think and we'll have to just do it that way okay so Seven. That seems about right. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, there we go. That's that's how that's how this is gonna get out, right? Now we'll bring that down to there. Okay, and then okay, good. Not great, but with the lack of terrain tools, we're gonna struggle to really do what we want to do with it. But that'll do. Right then, construzione. Let's do a, uh, a breeze block base. That's trickier to say than I keep thinking it's going to be. Uh, are, they, are you not in a building? Yeah. Duplicate. Right, there we go. Looks like the beard. Uh, and we need to build outside the grid annoyingly but okay there we go. Uh, and again pretty much pretty much gonna be a big old box all right I'll warn you now because that's pretty much all we've got time or inclination to do let's uh, drop that down to two there for that and that um, the only, we've got metal plank walls it's gonna have to be metal plank walls because we haven't researched anything else like a bunch of idiots. Actually, I see I'm dragging you down with me. It's not your fault. You're probably screaming at me to research something. I hate the fact that it's dark. I'm going to let it play so we get to daytime. Um, I know it's not great for watching on phones and stuff, so I do apologise for that. But yeah, you have to bear with me because, well, that's how it goes. Be beer! Okay, so for what we lack in material, we can make up for in design to an extent. So let's do um, a tiered roof like this. Uh, where are you? That one there. 
There we go. So this gives us a bit of variation for our roof. Talking of which, let's see what we got. Pitched through. So we've got asphalt, corrugated plastic, metal. Let's go for asphalt, just because I like the word. Um, not quite sure this is going to work. Let's let's go. Oh, so this is the problem with this wall here, isn't it? Let's go over like that, and we can say it's a feature. Right. There we go. We can put some planks or something in there. Uh, one thing we need to do is take that wall and duplicate it round. Oh my god, Peafowl, shut up! Oh, Saltwalker Crocodile's gonna have a baby. That'll that'll help, right? That'll help us financially, I'm sure. Right, pillars then. Uh, wooden post. Let's look at you. You look pretty good. Usually for a change. Um, and we'll raise you up to that corner there. Yep. Yeah. And then a pillar. Okay. Why? 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 There's that like that. I don't know. There we go. There. And a pillar. There we go. Sun's coming up. That's what we want. Uh, oh, sorry. I meant to duplicate that, not move it. There we go. And then we'll do a smaller pillar there. Why on earth? Will they not move on the grid? They should. But whatevs. There we go. That's that's uh, that's boring, isn't it? But never mind. <laughs> let's get, we can put some signage on it or something. Oh yeah, that's. Oh, let's hope we've got those animals on lots. You know the animal signs. They're great. And all the flowers and stuff. I bet we haven't. But we can have a look, can't we? Let's have a look. Signage. Oh, we've got the animal. Oh, yeah, we have. Okay, great. Oh, in that case, we can actually do something pretty good. Because these um, these look ace. And you can really quickly throw something together with these, by the way. If you're ever looking for a quick fix for a signage, something like this will, will get it there. Now, I think the only, the only animal ones we've got of these, actually, are sort of big animals. There's elephant... Um, I'm not sure we've got any sort of creepy crawlies in this smaller design, unfortunately. But in the in this one we have I know there's a spider and a snake. Look, there's the snake. So we'll have the snake and the spider. There we go. There you go. Chilling out next to each other like they're bezzy mates. So we'll make the spider uh oh, we'll make the spider grey. I'll make the snake green. There we go. And then and then something we can type our name on. No custom size available at all. Okay, so that's going to have to suggest Reptile House, which I think it does. Um, what else have we got? Come on, miscellaneous wall decorations. Something here we can use. Awnings, no wall decorations, no flags or anything. Now, there's that thing. That's quite nice, I suppose. Doesn't really go with the metal, but I suppose we can run that around the front. Certainly not going all the way around with it. But there we go. Uh... Oh, I should have already been in that grid, really, but never mind. Let's see if we can cover these up a little, because they don't look great. And that's my fault. That's not your fault. Don't take the blame for that one. Intrepid viewer. Uh, okay. You, you, you. You and you. I mean, it looks like a reformed hangar of some description, but uh, do you know what? It'll do. Because it gets us the four animals we need. So, let's uh, request exhibit animal. We haven't got anything in stock. So, which of these haven't we seen before? Let's get a few we haven't seen. This giant centipede. We'll get one of those. 
Um, Boa Constrictor, I think we've seen. The Wandering Spider, I won't do because people don't like spiders. Um, burrowing Beetle, let's get a Burrowing Beetle. In fact, let's get a couple of those girl ones so they don't breed. Uh, scorpions, I think I've seen. We've seen the snails. They were awesome. The Gila Monster, these are... These are I think we've seen one of these, but I want to see another one because I want to have a look at the at the uh, thing again. <gasps> and the golden poison frog. I am a I am a fan of I am a fan of frogs. Uh, so you two move into that one. Boom, already done. Killer monster, move into that one. Research complete. Nice. Okay, I was going to say, what on earth has that just happened? Then let's uh, let's carry on the let's uh, carry on the research for the saltwater crocodile actually. Uh, exhibit trading. So the Gila Monster goes in there. Nice. Uh, the Amazonian Earwig, or whatever it is, goes in here. There we go. And then the Poison Frog goes in this one. Okay. So we've got three. There we go. Let's give us the four. We've got three rainforesty ones and a deserty one. Where are you, little guinea monster? Because I don't, I don't think they have to try. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's a bit smaller than I thought he was going to be. He's cute, though. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is um, is make sure they're, they're, they're... Oh, no power. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is get some power because that's... Oh, man. Oh, man. Don't come over here yet. Don't look at the animals. They're, 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 they're not happy. Um, okay, so we could run a staff path down the back of this to some power. All right, so... And also, somebody else mentioned water, and that's a great point because this is a big river, so I'm not sure whether or not water is something we can even do. Um, we even have to worry about it because it's... Because it's like natural, I don't think we have to worry about uh, water actually. So that's good. Let's go into here. Facilities, utilities. It's going to have to be the transformer. It's going to have to be the robot in disguise. And we'll put it around the back here. I'm not sure. Do these things? Because these things have got power, right? Because I think this. I think this generates power. Yeah, there we go. So that generates power. So that's okay. We've got one over there for the staff buildings, one over here for this building. Okay, that's good. Paths. Uh, four meter staff path here. That, that That's that's awful. And not what I want to do at all. There we go. Uh, and I don't, I don't actually want that to be staff path. This needs to be uh, level six. Ooh, hello. There we go. That that'll do for now. Until we um, until the snow goes away and we have to worry about that. That'll do for now. Okay, so you can come in here. Uh, these should have power now, so we should be able to get the temperatures and stuff right. So the temperature here. We need to put the temperature. It's like oh man, it needs to be hot, like forty four. The humidity is currently increasing, so that's fine. Oh, a little hot, a little too hot. So that needs to be 42, I think. No, 41. Okay, so 41. Oh, and the community, sorry, no, it needs to be dry, doesn't it? It's a desert. Protesters have arrived. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, so that's you done. Let's do you next. Um, I do, I, I'll be honest with you. I do think this is slightly busy work, really. I'm not too sure whether I think this is a great feature because it's like, it's literally just here, I'll click some more buttons. So that's that one. But, you know, it's nice that it was added in, I suppose. There we go, that's you. And who's left? Little froggy froggy. Climb it, so you need to go a bit there, I guess. Yeah, and you need needs to go up a bit. Okay. Right, so you're, you're, you should all be happier. Social health. Oh, group size is too small. So what are you? Golden poison frog. That's fine. Are you a male one? You're a male one. Okay, so I'm going to get some more. I don't, I'm pretty sure these don't fight. So I'm going to get a few more male ones of those. Um, Because I don't really want to breed in because then it's, it's just, just another thing to worry about. It's another thing to enter. Is there no more of those? <gasps> Can't believe it. Golden Poison Frog. There is no more. Sorry. How's your welfare otherwise? 67? It'll have to do, I'm afraid. How about you? You're, yours, you're pretty good. You're good. You're good. Okay, cool. So, whoop. 
let's just get in here. Now we need some, we do need a few interior walls just because I feel bad with it just being all boxed off otherwise. So one of them, one of them, one of them. I, I, I feel bad with this, but you, you know it's just that I'm trying to get the uh, stars and stuff and we don't have the time to spend hours and hours in here. You want to see good detail, go and watch Nunu Kanata, which is coming out later today. Nunu Kanata is my uh, first sandbox park set in the northern wilds of Canada. Um, and also just the regular exhibits we do as well. This is this series, this career series, is much more focused on this stuff uh, than anything else. So what? who's got... who's why are you thirsty and hungry? Oh, yeah. We haven't put any food down or anything for you. That's why. Ha 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 ha. Right. Poor thing. Come on. Saltwater crocodile. Water pipe. I mean, I mean, you've got a river, so it's your own fault that you're thirsty, but I'll give you the hunger thing. I'll give you that. Let's put this down here. There we go. Let's move that to keep you moving around the uh, exhibit a bit. Okay. Zoo. Pretty sure we don't have. Uh, keep. We got two keepers, yeah. So keeper, you, and then we'll set up a, a work zone for you. New work zone that includes this habitat and these staff buildings, and that's going to be called crocodile. Uh, whoops, crocodile work zone. Okay. Uh, oh, and then I need, to, I need to set you to that one, don't I? So, where are you? Where are you? Employment. Here we go. Crocodile work zone. This difficult second single from Jimmy Nail. So I'm hoping you've gone to get some food. They've gone to get some water at least while the food gets sorted, I hope. Let's have a look. Oh, look, baby, baby, baby. hee <laughs> hee. Good stuff. Right. Welfare is low. Here comes food. Here comes food. So social. Nothing really wrong with your social. There you go. Can we get some grub? Nom, 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 nom. That should put your welfare back up. Okay. So we need a keeper for these because they do get cleaned and stuff, don't they? So I think one keeper can manage all of those. He's already got to so die straight in. But I don't I don't think I don't think they have to like feed them and stuff. Um Yeah, maybe maybe they do, I don't know. Those four and them two. There you go. And that's gonna be a reptile house. I know they're not all reptiles, but that'll do. Reptile house. Oops. Reptile House Work Zone. Okay. Right. I love how it just knows it's not raining in here. Oh, 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 I see mess. That usually means that you need some more stuff for them, so that's fair enough. Trash can down there. Tidy your mess up, please, folks. Come on. Let's not be littering. It's a zoo. Um, get around there. Okay. Alright, I think we'll leave it there then. So next, so what have we got to do next? Seven habitats. We need four more habitats. Okay, so habitat species, excuse me. I say, let's get... Where have we got up to? Here. Let's get over this bridge to a, a some sort of savannah -y thing over here. Wildebeest, whatever we've got that fits that. Yeah, that's what we'll do next episode. See if we can bump that number up a bit. And we could maybe even... Oh, we could have a bridge. We could maybe even do a little thing here. There's not many little, little animals left for us, though. We've got the Adabra. So, look, like, yeah, look here. Look, bison. Uh, oh, we could... Now, I see bears. Need a bit more. We could do a... We could do a macaque. Okay. Macaques on the island. Macaque Island. Over here to Wildebeest and um, Niala. Over here. So people are telling me how to pronounce it. I forget. That's what we'll do in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Until then, be good.